Hi, I'm Cassie Nesper, curator of the Rose Melnick Medical Museum at Youngstown State University. Today I wanted to tell you about a new collaboration that started this spring. I partnered with a faculty member in the respiratory care program to host an independent study where students got to research items from the museum's collection. We had two students in the pilot project. They each got to pick which instrument they wanted to study for the semester. One of the students chose the Jones Motor Basal Respirometer, manufactured in 1937. The Jones Motor was a device used to graph a patient's breathing patterns to show their respiratory rate, volume, and rhythm. It's called a motor basal because it can also measure a person's basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of energy used per day by a person at rest. One of the ways it can be determined is by measuring the amount of time it takes a person to consume a given quantity of oxygen. The higher the metabolic rate, the faster the oxygen is consumed. To use this machine, a patient would lie down for a half an hour to lower their heart rate. Then they would insert the mouthpiece and begin breathing through these tubes. Their breath then travels through this motor and a small compartment of alkali, which takes out the carbon dioxide. These rubber bellows expand and contract with the patient's breathing, and a pen here makes a graph drawing. Respirometers used to measure lung capacity today are much smaller. A common one is the right respirometer, made in 1994. The other student picked this wooden box. It contains a Davidson pneumothorax apparatus. Lewis R. Davidson, a tuberculosis specialist, patented this device in 1933. It was used to treat tuberculosis by causing an artificial pneumothorax. A pneumothorax is the collapsing of a lung by directly introducing air to the chest cavity. Carlos Forlanini originally developed this method of treatment in the 1890s. It was thought to heal the infected lung by allowing the lung to rest and the lesions to heal. Davidson modified Forlanini's instrument and it became a well-known instrument used to treat tuberculosis. This particular device was used in the Mahoning County Tuberculosis Sanitarium. The apparatus consists of a five-way valve. The manometer measures the pressure in the chest in order to ensure that the correct amount of air is used to collapse the lung. A long operating needle would be used to penetrate the chest cavity and introduce the air. In the 1940s, new cases of tuberculosis began to decline in the United States thanks to the BCG vaccine and the introduction of antibiotics to treat those infected. So there you have it, a basal motor and a pneumothorax device. You can find out more about them on our blog. And be sure to check out our other videos on the Melnick Medical Museum YouTube channel.